Yo, what's going on guys? This is SoulStriker. Welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Stack Mobs plugin. So there is several plugins like this on Spigot that you can find and some of them don't even work. But this one I've actually found is a nice free alternative because there is a plugin called Mob Stacker and it's going to be updated and the second version is uh, premium so you have to pay for it. But this is definitely a nice free alternative. So basically if you guys don't know what this does is it decreases the amount of entities and stacks them into one one uh, entity. So as you see right here, I've placed down a cow spawner. Cows are over here. Here's the pig spawners and there are 18 pigs right here. So when it ever spawns in a certain radius so it all always goes to a certain mob so which is very very cool for faction servers and just like regular servers if you want to reduce the entity lag this is a great idea for that and it also works uh, when you like spawn them in so you can do like spawn mob uh, and then we can do like skeleton 10 and when you spawn them in it automatically uh, does 10 as well so you can like kill them and everything so this plugin works on 1.7 through 1.10 I'm on 1.10 right now and it works from 1.7 to 1.10 and as you see spawn put a spawner rabbit right there so there's two times rabbits and then two times the sheep and then six times the white sheep and then 20 times the pigs and uh, six the cows and oh there's six more rabbits over here baby rabbits pretty cool and then two cows over there and then the skeleton that we just spawned in. See the main command just do slash sm which is stack mob and you can remove them all so we can do remove all and that removes all the stack mobs. Let's dive right into the config. Alright so here we are in the config for mob stack. And most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. As you see right here, here's the tag if you want them visible and if you want the, the better interesting name. So I just leave all this to true and then here's the radius that you can uh, set uh, whenever a mob spawns in uh, the certain radius then it will stack it. So I'm actually going to change the color codes because why the heck not. So I'm going to change that to yellow and I'm going to change the entity, the name of the entity to red. So this will be say it will be like 5 uh, in yellow and then it will say like five times sheep so that was just I'm just gonna change that so next if you want them at uh, the tame if you want tame to be stacked leash uh, to be stacked make sure to check it if it's true so most of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory by default it's everything's pretty much the same uh, unless you want to stack uh, the max so the max number of mobs that can be stacked I'm gonna change that to uh, like uh, 500 <laughs> because if you're AFK grinding uh, some mobs and they stack uh, and they reach the max the max number of stacked mobs you can have then <laughs> it's gonna be kind of insane. You can change this to whatever number uh, just don't make it too high I would probably go all the way up to like maybe 10,000 that is probably the highest that I would go so that way uh, when you have the stacked mobs if you have the max number to be 10 then there's going to be like tons of like 10 times stack mobs and that would just make it even more laggy. As you see right here the sheep and the sheep uh, stacks the same color if you want the true or false and then stack sheared and then divide the divide and then uh, slimes, uh, horses, villagers, zombies and separate ages so if it's like a baby zombie or adult zombie and uh, the kill all and then divide on rename so if you rename a mob if you want that to be divided so the blacklist just uh, if you have it to true disables the mob stacking for this and then the whitelist uh, if you set that to true then these are the only mobs that will uh, be able to stack so that's the difference between the blacklist and the whitelist uh, the world do you have uh, like the end do you want to stack the enderman or not Let's save this all right so here we are back in game as you see we have changed the amount of the pigs and now we have 41 as well as the color codes uh, so it says 41 in yellow and then pig in red as we change the config so that's pretty cool and everything works properly and no errors in council so very very cool plugin it's free on spigot to go download which is really nice and uh, if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comments below or ask the developer on the spigot page himself. Link will be down in the description and I will see you guys next time. Peace, peace out.